Now we are going to solve a problem on flat reciprocating follower having simple harmonic motion. We are going to draw the profile of cam with the help of displacement diagram. Now first I will read what is the given problem. A cam drives a flat reciprocating follower in the following manner. During first 120 degree rotation of cam, follower moves outwards through a distance of 20 mm with simple harmonic motion. The follower dwells during next 30 degree of cam rotation. During next 120 degree of cam rotation, the follower moves inwards with simple harmonic motion. The follower dwells for the next 90 degree of cam rotation. The minimum radius of cam is 25 mm. Draw the profile of cam. So this was the given question. We will first draw the displacement diagram for one complete revolution of the cam. So for the one complete revolution of cam, angle covered is equal to 360 degree. So we will take here one suitable scale that is 1 cm is equal to 10 degree. So for this total angle 360 degree we have to take this horizontal distance that is on the abscissa 36 cm. And on the vertical distance we have to take here the stroke and which is given as a 20 mm. So first as per the given data if we observe the outstroke is given that is for 120 degree. So we have to take the 120 degree distance that is as per scale that is 12 cm and then there is the dwell period is again 30 degree that means next distance is 3 cm then return stroke is for 120 degree that is 12 cm and again the remaining 90 degree is again there is the dwell period so here is the 9 cm distance. So this abscissa is getting completed now on the ordinate we have to take the distance so for 20 mm stroke, so we have to define here the stroke. That is here the vertical distance is 20 mm. So you can take any scale that is 2 multi uh, 1 is to 4, that is 2 multiplied by 4, that is 8 cm. You can take here on uh, 2 is 1 is to 2, that is 2 multiplied by 2, that is 4 cm vertical distance. You can take any distance. Now the motion is simple harmonic motion. So while drawing the displacement diagram on the one side of this graph we have to take or we have to draw here one semicircle. Now in semicircle what is the total angle covered that is 180 degree. Now we have to make even parts for this outstroke as well as return stroke. So if we observe this angle this angle is equal to 120 degree. So here we will take the uh, any number of even parts that is 4, 6, 8. So we will make here 6 number of even parts. So for that we have to take 6 number of even parts for this outstroke as well as return stroke. Now dwell period, uh, during dwell period the follower is at rest. So no need to make here the any parts during the dwell period. So here for this semicircle also we have to make here the 6 number of equal parts. So the angle covered is equal to 180 degree. So 180 degree divided by 6 that is equal to 30 degree. So each angle is 30 degree apart. So here there are 6 number of equal parts. Now we will give here the numbers. So for this semicircle here first will be 0. Then here is 1 double dash, 2 double dash, 3 double dash. 4 double dash, 5 double dash and 6 double dash. So in the same way for this outstroke also we will give the numbers. That is here first is starting line is 0. Then here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then here is dual period. So no need to any, uh, no need required for that is uh, to make the partition. Then again for the return stroke again there are 6 number of equal parts. So we know that how to take the 6 number, number of equal parts that is 120 divided by 6 that is for 20 degree. So 20 degree means 2 cm each part is there. Now here we will give the numbers but in reverse direction because this is the return stroke. So here first number will be 6. So instead of 6 
I will take here this is 6 dash, then 5 dash, 4 dash, then 3 dash, 2 dash, 1 dash and 0 dash. Now this is, it is easy for us because why in the reverse direction? Because it will become easy to select the points and to avoid the confusion. Now how to select the points? So for this profile we will first draw here the profile. So if we take this one double dash. So in the out stroke and return stroke here the, we have to draw one horizontal line passing through this point one double dash. Now we have to select the point in the out stroke that will intersect the vertical line passing through one that is here. So first at this zero, that is the initial position of this follower, I will say here the point A. Then here will be point B. Then in the same way, this one double dash line intersect in the return stroke to one dash. Vertical line passing through one dash. So here is the point that is already, that is we have to select. Then from two double dash, we have to draw one horizontal line. And we have to select the point of intersection in the outstroke, the vertical line passing through 2. That is 2 double dash to 2 intersection point. So I will say C. Then here also 2 double dash to 2 dash. So here is the point. Then in the same way 3 double dash to 3. So I will say here is the point D and here 3 double dash to 3 dash. Then the next is 4 double dash to 4. So here is the point of intersection. I will say E. And again 4 double dash to 4 dash. So here is the point 4 dash. So this point is selected. Then 5 double dash to 5. So here is the point. Then here also 5 double dash to 5 dash. So here is the point. Then E. Then I will say F. And then 6 double dash to 6. So here is the point G. So in the same way 6 double dash to 6 dash. So here is the point selected. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Then next will be H, I, J, K, L, M and last one is the N. So these are the points. Now we have to join the points. So how to join the points? So from A to B, I will join this. Then B to C, then C to D. Then here during dwell period, uh, follower remains at rest. That means here, this is the horizontal line. And then H to J, H to I, J, K, L, M and N. So we have to draw the smooth curve. So this is the curve. Now we will move to draw the cam profile. So for that we have to draw first the base circle with radius 25 mm as mentioned in the question. So here O at the center and this is the base circle that I have shown. Now what is the initial position of the follower? So here we have to draw one line passing through the center O. And that point the trace point is the middle point of the flat surface follower. So here that here is the point of intersection for this base circle while the line passing through the center O. And that point will be the trace point for this uh, flat reciprocating follower. So from this point A we will give here the number 0 as mentioned in the displacement diagram. That is the number is 0 and point or letter is A. So here is the trace point and this is the initial position of the follower. And we will draw here the flat faced follower. So we can take any dimension. So here we can take 8 cm or 4 cm as per your convenience. Now this is the initial position. So if we observe the displacement diagram from the initial position there is out stroke is for 120 degree. So we will first join the point O and A. Now we will draw the angle of 120 degrees. So we will take OA as the base. And from that we will take the angle which is equal to 120 degrees. Then there is 30 degree dwelling. So again we will take here the angle of 30 degrees. 
So draw the line passing through the selected points. Again there is the angle of 120 degrees. So how to draw? So we will take here. This selected line is the base line. And then we will select the angle of 120 degrees. Now from this point we will draw the line. So if we observe from this initial line O to A here angle is 120 degree. Then here is 30 degree and the remaining angle is also equal to 120 degree. Now as we made the 6 equal parts in the displacement diagram. So here also for out stroke and return stroke we have to make the 6 equal parts. That means each part will be at 20 degree apart. So again with the help of protractor we will again keep here. And we will take the angle of 20 degree each. 20, 40, 60, 80. Then 100 and here is 120. Then in the same way we will make the next for the return stroke. So for the return stroke also we will make the same angle. That is 20, 40, 60, 80. So here we will draw the lines passing through the selected points. So from the center O we have to draw the lines. If we observe, we have to give the numbers. So, numbers should be given on this base circle. So, if we observe the displacement diagram, numbers are in sequence of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then there is the dwell period. And then there is 6 dash, 5 dash, 4 dash and so on. So, I will give here the number. So, here is the first point. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So here this outstroke is getting completed. Then for dwell period no any number. So then when the return stroke starts here the first number is 6 dash. So I will give you 6 dash, 5 dash, 4 dash, 3 dash, 2 dash, 1 dash and 0 dash. Now we will take the distance in the compass. Now we have to plot the trace point. So for the first number what is the stress point? So that is the stress point is B for this outstroke. And for the turn stroke, that is we have to draw the trace point from this line 1 dash. And the point is M. So here 1 to this distance B we have to select in the compass. And then we will give here 1 to point will be given as a B. And 1 dash to here we will give the point as a so I will give here point as a B and here point as a M. Then next is 2. So in the outstroke we have to take the distance 2 to C. So here we will take the compass at the point 2 and here I will select the point as a C. Now in the same way from 2 dash the same distance is there that is 2 dash to L. So here for this 2 dash I will keep here the compass and we will select the point as a L. Then in the same way 3 to D. So in the outstroke there is the distance 3 to D. So we have to select. And in the return stroke that is 3 dash to K. So here D and here 3 dash to K. So in the same way we have to select the remaining point with the help of compass. Now all the trace 
points are getting selected. So main important thing is that at these stress points we have to draw the flat faced follower. So how to draw? So this is very important point. So if we observe the line passing through the center O to the stress point. If we observe O to A, the flat face follower is in the perpendicular direction to this line O to A. So in the same way, here is the line that is the trace point B is joining to the center. So again, how to draw the face of this flat faced follower? So it is in the perpendicular direction to this line. So with the help of protractor, we can draw this line. So here this is the line that is vertical line is for 90 degree. That means this edge and this vertical line are perpendicular to each other. So we will align the line vertical line of 90 degree with for this line O to B. So if I align then I have to draw the horizontal line passing through the point B. And I have to complete. Then in the same way we will follow the procedure for this point C. So I will align the vertical line for 90 degree the line joining O to C. And for, from this horizontal edge I will draw the line passing through the point C. You can observe. Then again here O to D. So I will align the line with this 90 degree angle. And then from this point D, I will draw here one line. So, then same procedure we have to follow for this point E. If we join all the trace points, then we will get the pitch curve. So, we can say... See here that is clearly the all the trace points that is A to B to C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M and N. These all the points are connected till with the line in the form of dash and this curve is nothing but the pitch curve. Now how to draw the cam profile? So here if we observe the surface of the flat follower is given that is it is a different angle because here all these faces are perpendicular to the line joining to the trace point to the center that's why these faces are at different angles so we have to select the lower points of each face and we have to join the line so here i will join so here is the point a so for this point b this is the lower point so i will join here with this point then this is the lower point I will join. So all these lower points we have to join. that is the line joining the lower points of each flat surface is nothing but the cam profile and I have shown here with the help of the black marker so we will say this or this is the cam profile 